presents to nine two. Nine two. Yeah, yeah shout out, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 92, bro. Prison show 92, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, prison show 92, baby. Coming right back at you with another story, man. This is one me and my boy was just having a conversation. And uh, we were talking about stuff I've done in my background and telling him to apply at Walmart, get him on his feet because he's still addicted. And it reminded us of my past. And he mentioned, uh, you know, why I wasn't allowed in Walmart. And then I said, man, I went in Best Buy the other day. I was scared as shit. Thought they was ready to come apprehend me because I know I'm not allowed in there either. And I made a lot of noise at Best Buy. So I know that's like bigger than Walmart. The security guard don't work there no more. They got me at Walmart for the TVs. He ain't never catch me, but detectives got my picture and people snitched on me. Got me indicted for it because I was running out the fire doors of Walmart with TVs. That's a whole nother story, though. Anyway, back to the Best Buy story, yo. Made a lot of noise there. Um, so, look, I'm going to give you the rundown. All right, so I was going in Best Buy, right? This is my scheme. This is my spiel. This is what I was doing. All right, at one point in time, I was doing a lot of things, but this is one of them. I would go in Best Buy. I would walk in there. They had a pile of PlayStation 4s just piled up in boxes. No alarms on them. No spider kits. You know, the web things on them that you cut off and they go off. The alarm, you got to put them underwater or something to get them shut up and they still go off. Knowing as hell, prevent you from stealing if you're a thief, which I'm not anymore. But at the time, I was doing what I, had, what I felt I had to do. Anyway, so, they're unprotected. I'm like, damn, I could almost walk out with them. You know what I'm saying? If I could find a way, well... My ingenious mind told me a plan, and the plan was I would go in there, I grab the PlayStation, I go to the counter like I'm about to pay for the PlayStation. I make sure the line's somewhat long, if not long, that's cool. I wait in line, it looks even realer. When I get to the cashier, I say, hey, ma'am, I got to return, I'd like to return this PlayStation, nothing's wrong with it, just bought it, but uh, my girlfriend already bought me one, or my mom bought, whatever, I make something up, you know, and they would say, okay, well, uh, where's your receipt? Like, oh, they didn't give me a receipt. I got it as a gift, man, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's cool. Well, you're going to need an ID, and we can only give you store credit. I would throw a little fuss to make it seem real. Like, what? Store credit? It was paid for with cash, though. Do you really got to give me store credit? They give me the rundown on how the return policy works, and yeah, we got to give you store credit, blah, blah, blah. And so I'd be like, all right, well, that's cool, but I don't got my ID. I got to go out to the car to get it. You know, mind you, I didn't even have an ID at the time, let alone a car, nor did I plan on coming back in that store with that PlayStation because I didn't walk in with it in the first place. The lady at the register does not know. She's a cashier. Her job is to ring people up, get them gone, and out the door. You know what I'm saying? Now, at Best Buy, right when you walk in, there's a lady or man at, in the center of the doors at the camera station watching everybody. So you got to walk past that person when you walk out. So you got to be very slick with it. And I knew that, common sense. So I would be like, all right, well, can you give me a bag for the PlayStation so I can carry it out to my car then and get my ID? I don't want to leave it here and get it stolen. She would put it in the bag and say, no problem. I'm just giving a bag. Nothing wrong with that. You walked in with it. You just ain't have a bag. It's normal, you know. Nobody ever thought anything of it. I put it in the bag. I walk straight out and say, hey, have a good day. Thank you. Look them right in their eye when I walk out. I don't look down. I don't look away. None of that scary stuff. And I walk out, and it worked. And it's such an adrenaline rush. Like, man, the first time it worked, I couldn't believe it. Well, guess what? I got addicted to doing that because I was addicted to drugs. That's only enough for one day. Sell the PlayStation for 100 150 I used that up in one night, man. Come on, a few hours, two hours, I could use that. Anyway, so I went back in there. I kept doing it. It kept working. Man, I had a PlayStation for me, for my son. Um, and then I sold several of them. I was on a roll. Well, one night, this guy Damo hits me, tatted up, big black dude with dreads, heavy set guy, he's a dope and coke dealer. Won't say his real name or nothing, but he's from Calvert County, a county across the bridge from my county, but we all know each other kind of. You know, he's in the game. Anyway, I'm hitting him up like, man, can you spot me? He's like, nah, nah, but what about them PlayStations? Can you get another one? Because I had sold him one previously. I'm like, man, damn, you know, and I'm knowing it's hot because I blew the spot up doing it so many times. So I'm like, I got to think of a new way to do this. So I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll get you a PlayStation. Just slide through, pick me up, take me to Best Buy. That's all you got to do. I'll get you the PlayStation, and I'll even do it cheaper for you since you took me. All right, so he's like, bet. I'm on the way, 30 minutes. So I'm thinking, damn, how can I do it? Should I do it the same way? It's nighttime now. It's not as many people in there. 
I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get this empty PlayStation 4 box that I got at my house. I'm going to put some paper in it, weigh it down, make it look heavy like something's in it, and I'm going to walk in and do my thing. So he takes me to Best Buy. I got the box on my lap. He's with his girl. His girl don't really know what's going on. So he said, don't tell her, blah, 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 while we're on the phone. So I just act normal like I'm going to return something, get another one, whatever. She don't know. She just thinks whatever he told her. It's his girl's car, but he's driving. Now, he parks by Panera Bread back in the back of the parking lot away from Best Buy because he knows what I'm doing. He, he basically drops me off. He stays at the parking lot. I get out. You know, I'm a little nervous, but I'm dope sick, so I don't care at the same time. Like, I don't, there's not a care in the world. Like, you know, it, it's it's crazy to say, but yeah, I'm dead sober, but it's like I need drugs sober, not just sober and thinking clear, you know? So I walk in with the box. Immediately, there's a big, huge dyke lady. I mean, it's a lesbian. You can tell it looks like a man, but she's like big enough to be an NFL linebacker, dude. Seriously, like, big girl. Now... I was skinnier than I am now, and I've been kind of slim smoking these damn cigarettes lately, but I was slim. I mean, my face was swung and I was slim. So anyway, she was probably five times my, well, three times my weight. So, at least. I walk in, she eyes me a little bit, I act nothing of it. You know, I'm like, I'm going either to get high or to go to jail today. There's no in between. I'm not walking back out of here. I don't care if somebody stop and ask me, frisk me, whatever. I'm still doing my plan. I am not... That's what I told my boy on the phone too. Like that day, just like any other, I was not walking out of there empty handed. No matter what. It's that simple, bro. Like I'm not. So anyway, I go in there and I go to the PlayStations as normal, but I got a PlayStation with me. I set it down. I pick one up. Hopefully they don't see the switch. All right. Little did I know, little Miss Big Huff and Puff seen that happen, followed me the whole time on camera. And let her staff know right away. Security, come get him. He's stealing. I know he's stealing. Like, I know something's up. Get the PlayStation. When I start heading for the exit door, I'm just make my circle. I walk in. I switch. I head for the exit door. She immediately stands in the way of the door. I'm like, uh, excuse me. And then she's like, give me that PlayStation. I'm like, no, this is my PlayStation. I try to barge past. She gets in the way, huge lady. And I don't want to hit her or do nothing assault. You know, I don't want to make it worse. I just want to get out the store. That's all I want. It was never about hurting people. I just want to get what I want and go. Like, let me go. You know what I'm saying? Didn't think the job's that serious to the person. But anyway, they'd already called backup. So as soon as I try to bust through the big lady... I got about four Best Buy workers, including a mobile phone worker, and uh, it's a guy that goes by the name Runway. I'll even put him out there because I don't care. He's a little punk. He thinks he's hard, talks like he's hard, raps like he's hard. He's been on the radio, had a hit song called I Do It or A, like that, whatever, man. Bullshit music I don't listen to. He's a punk in my eyes, skinny, tall, black guy. He, he acts like he's from the street. So if you're from the street, why are you trying to catch somebody stealing? That's basically police shit. I don't care what I'm doing. I didn't steal from you. So you're trying to get me hemmed up. You know what I'm saying? But you know how the street life is. Anyway, that's another story. Him and several other of his uh, employee, co co-workers, about three other ones, plus the big lady, dyke lady, try to apprehend me. I'm fighting with all of them. As soon as they grab me, I no lie, elbow the shit out of the boy runway hard as I can. Hit him with my elbow in the jaw. It knocks him out the way. I mean, he's clear out the picture. I don't know what happened to him. Dude went sleep. Dude went whatever. But he went flying to the ground. That's no lie. Hit him hard as I could. Knocked him out the way. And then there's still like three, four others I'm just fighting with, tussling with. We get from the exit door to now the enter door, which is only about five steps away. They're right by each other in Best Buy. When I'm by the inner door, I grab one person that I'm with and I slam them with me with the momentum through the door. I'm trying to get out. I don't want to fight. I want to get out. So I got to fight to get out, though. So I'm fighting towards the exit. We go through the inner doors and the doors that go automatically open like this. No lie went boom and bust off the hinges on the ground to where we're walking on the door. But when I hit them, we went flying with our momentum. Me, him, and the other three, four people behind us. We're flying out the inner door and the other doors open up because there's two sets of those doors. Bust one down, the others open up when those went down, just in time for me to fly out that door and then hit the post. Boom! Smack my back right on the cement post. Just so happens Best Buy has these cement poles that are right in front of the store, about eight of them. And there's like a little gap in between each one that you could walk through if you want it. 
Now my luck, when we slam through there, my back, I fall right down to my butt and my back smacks the pole hard as shit against it. And I'm fighting with that guy. I'm grabbing him. I got him locked in. And there's three other people coming. Four other, however many others at the time. It was a lot. But while I'm fighting with them and I'm about to get up, still got the PlayStation in my hand, mind you. I'm about to get up and get out of there and run home or run to the car if dude's still there, if Domo's still there. And dip, this big beer gut belly motherfucker, this uh, loss prevention guy comes up, white guy, right behind me while my back's against the pole, about to get up and boom. Choke holds the shit out of me. Now, I'm very good at wrestling. Everybody's told me for my size, I got a lot of strength, a lot of power. I know I do. I've wrestled my friends that are way bigger than me, and it takes four or five of them to take me down. Call it bragging, call it whatever. I'm just being honest, telling you the story accurate. But this guy, I ain't gonna lie, had the tightest choke hold on my ass, and he was using that pole as leverage. He had his body sunk behind the pole and my back against the pole and he was choking the shit out of me, pulling me against the pole to where they'd tell him, Dave, stop, don't choke him out, don't choke him out. You know what I'm saying? Saying stuff like that. But anyway, um, when he was choking me, I was trying to get up still. Now, he had a lock on me. By then, there was already five, six people dogpiled on me. They got me, man. At that time, I knew there was no getting out of this. I'm done. I'm going to jail. Already knew it. Like, my mind just clicked. You're going to jail. Escape mode's pretty much over. So they grab me and, like, carry my ass. I'm fighting with them the whole time through the store. Everybody's watching now. It's like World Star, you know, bullshit like this. Sure, somebody probably has footage. If you do, drop the footage. If you just so happen to watch this video or if it blows up, that's cool with me. I don't mind you dropping it. Give it to me. Shit, send it to my email. I'll put it up here for everybody to see. It is what it is. Um, But anyway... Maybe I can get a copy of that somehow, actually. But anyway, so if I do, I'll put it up. They they send me to the loss uh, prevention room, which is security room. All the cameras in there. The motherboard. The mothership. You know what I'm saying? Of, like, all the security cameras in Best Buy. They sit me down in this spinny chair. And there's, like, two people standing here. Three people standing there. One by the door. They're sitting there talking. I'm watching the cameras. See the outside of the store. Waiting for the police to arrive. And I'm like, man, I got to get out of here. The cops still ain't here yet. I still got a chance. In my crazy mind, I'm thinking I can still get out of this. Well, I didn't make a beeline dash for the door out of nowhere while they're talking. I'm like, yeah, no, I didn't mean to do it. Boom, just hop up and try to... And as soon as I get to the door, they all grab me and tackle me down. Hit my head on the table. Hit me on the floor. They got my ass. I'm tackled. I'm surrendered. You know what I'm saying? It's game over. So they locked the door after that. They, The guy, Dave, said he knew I was going to try that. And blah, blah, lock the damn door on him. Lock him in here till the cops come. So they lock me in there. I'm watching the screen as the cop cruiser pulls up. A white marked cop car, you know what I'm saying, pulls up to the scene in front of Best Buy. And I see him walking in through the door just like a security man would see me walking through the door, you know. And uh, he comes in there. He asks me questions. I don't want to speak. I never speak to the police. That's the best thing to do because even if you're caught red-handed, you don't talk. Lips. Throw away the key, you know what I'm saying? So you can fight it in a trial or at least have some type of defense. If you simply say, yes, I stole it because I'm on drugs, you simply admit it to it. There's no need for a trial, no need for anything. Your ass is able to get the maximum nail because you admit it out your own mouth that you did it. You know, even though you're there, even though you're on video, yes, that's good evidence against you. But you should never say you did it because you can maybe make up a mental excuse or say you were... You know, under the influence that day or whatever it may be, whatever your defense is. So never say you did it. Um, so I don't got much to say. Now, they go retrieve the PlayStation 4 box, mind you, that I put on the shelf. Remember, I told you guys I use papers as weights and files and stuff to hold the box down to make it look like something was in it instead of a real light ass box just swinging around. You know, whatever. I just thought it would make it look realer. So when the cop retrieves that, they open it up. And they start laughing, ha, huh? he put papers in here, try to make it look, you know, they caught on to it. I was trying to make it look real, blah, 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 you know. And then so they read through the paperwork and they ask me questions. They see that this is bank information. This is very important information. This isn't information you just grab out, you know, the trash can or whatever, whatever. So they keep asking me, where'd you get this paperwork from? You know, is this yours, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Like, all right, well, we're going to send this off to detectives because we think it's stolen. It's bank information and stuff. Now, 
I've already been charged with this. I already took a global plea. Um, this is one of my charges I was fighting in district court when I went to prison. You know, uh, it's one of them I got time served for. I had to do a year for all these charges, take a global plea. Then I got my three years for the circuit court, which was burglaries, auto theft, and bigger felonies, more serious stuff, fleeing and eluding from cops. Anyway, so I can talk on it. Um, the paperwork, man, it came from a car that I had broken into about two nights before, and I found a bunch of bank slips, bank envelopes, and uh, bank informations that, you know, said like SunTrust on it, a, a leather envelope that had cash in it, whatever. Found a little bit of cash that night. I didn't hit the jackpot or anything. I wish I did, but I did not. Um, so anyway... They send that to detectives. Detectives somehow trace it to the car that got broken into, and then they trace it back to my ass, and I got charged with that as well. So I knew I was hit. I, my boots were about to get smoked. The cop took me to jail that night. Um, when I went to jail, I got PR'd out, though. It wasn't a bond. It's like a secure bond. If you don't show up, you got to pay, but if you show up, you're good to go. Um, so I got out that night is immediately when I got out, I hit Damo up. I'm like, look, dude, I still got a PlayStation. I'll sell you. It's my PlayStation. I wasn't able to get that one. They locked me up as you probably seen, blah, blah, blah. He said, man, you're the police. Don't text me. I call him. He don't answer. He's like, man, you're the police. Stop texting me. I'm like, dog, look, I'm not the police just cause I got locked up. I'm not working with cops to try to sell you this PlayStation for dope. Come on, man. I'm sick as shit. I'm just trying to sell my PlayStation now that I did not want to sell in the beginning. I wanted to keep my PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't look like I'm a drug addict selling my stuff. You know, I just got the PlayStation. My son plays with it on, you know, I don't want to look bad and sell it. But now I'm desperate. I just got out of jail. The whole world's crashing down. And uh, I, I want to get rid of it, and I want to get high. It's that simple. I've been sick. It's been a long, long, long night. You know, I had to find a ride home from jail, and I walked like two miles in the freezing cold with a white tee on and jeans. Um, very uncomfortable, you know. Didn't plan on having to do that. Finally caught a ride at the Birch Mart at the Shell gas station. A nicer old lady was getting off her shift and took me home, thank God. Shout out to you. I don't know her name, but anyway... Um, so he finally gives in. He's like, man, whatever. I'll come through there, check it out, blah, blah, blah. And I really never would ever set anybody up, but he didn't know me very well. He didn't know the J that I used to be before using drugs, how solid I was. He just knew the guy that, hey, he cops dope from him. He sells him this stuff. He trades him, you know, weapons. He trade whatever, you know, I was doing all that. Um, so, you know, it's hard to trust people, and I still don't trust people today, whether you're clean or not. So I feel them on that, and I just got arrested. But I would never tell, never set anybody up, and really all I wanted to do was get high. That's it. I ain't got time to do none of that, but get high. So I gave him my PlayStation, the one I did not want to give up. Ended up doing it for some shitty deal, man, because he had to come back out to me. So it's like $60, $80 for a brand new PlayStation playstation 4 with the box with uh controllers everything that comes in the box man wires whatever um and that's how that night ended and now i got court coming up a pre-trial then court you know and i never went to court i ended up getting warrants out for my arrest and going through way more than that but that's the best buy story for you guys my boy told me it sounds like a very entertaining story he was entertained by it so i should probably tell y'all and i was like screw it man i guess i'll put it out here that's what happened that night if you guys like this video and if this video gets 200 views, once it does, I will put out my shopper's story and my Walmart story in one video. My shoppers happen. I'll just give you a sneak peek. Shoppers was me robbing somebody for the cash inside the grocery store while trying to return something that was not mine in the first place. Something similar is Best Buy, but totally different. I had to run from the police. Walmart was something that happened very multiple times with me and TVs and running out fire exit doors with cars and without cars and people taking me whatever. Lots of crazy shit, man. And it's all true. It really is. I don't spice my stories up to make them bigger and I don't dumb them down to make them smaller. I tell it how it is because I've already been convicted, man. So Pro Prison Show 92, boy. Your boy Jay is up and out of here. Boom! Hit that subscribe button, man. Show you love if you want to see new videos. Don't miss out on the interviews coming up. I'm telling you, this shit is going to the top, baby. Peace. Love y'all, man. Woo.